What's up, yeah. comedians? Yeah. What's up? Lucas Cop. Yes. Can we just admit he just did that? He like, did that. He been doing it. Yeah, he been doing it. Yeah. Right. I was scared to come up here after that set. Because I haven't eaten pussy in a long time. <laughs> I'm be honest. I think, I think my pussy eating car got revoked. <laughs> The thing is, I really want to eat pussy, too. I swear to God, I really, I enjoy eating pussy. Like, when I'm in a relationship, I'll just eat pussy for no reason. I don't even want to fuck, honestly. I just, I just want to taste it. I want to make her come and then go back to sleep like nothing happened. I do, that's true, though. That's true. I can't do that shit now because I'm single. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not one of the dudes who eats pussy as a single man. I can't do it. <laughs> I, it it's scary out here. I, I literally, no, this is, fuck. I wish my life wasn't so fucked up. Because I swear I would have stopped comedy a long time ago. <laughs> but I got a message today like, hey, one of my partners got chlamydia. Oh, oh man. God. But I'm such a real nigga because I didn't get scared because I'm the condom guy. No. As you can tell, I am condom up. Before I lay down with a woman, I put a condom on just in case shit gets frisky. The pussy's always a little bit wetter when you wake up in the morning, right? For those who know what pussy feels like, it's wetter in the morning. Or if she keeps you around to get the pussy in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. She usually kicks him out. She, you, you kick him out, huh? She's like, the dick is trash. You gotta go. <laughs> and if the dick is good, you still gotta go because who else are you giving that dick to, right? That's, that's, that's how women work. You gotta fuck them like medium. You gotta like give them medium sized dick. I just heard it's a term. It's called husband dick. I just learned what husband dick is. Husband dick is not too good, but it's not too bad. It's sturdy, consistent dick. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We're getting amen today? I thought after Lucas had said I was going to hell, I'm going to be honest with you. So this is, this is great. I knew this Jesus chain would pay off. Yeah, my grandma was really pissed off. My grandma was really pissed off when she saw me do comedy. <laughs> Not because of all the fucked up shit I said, but because I wear this chain simultaneously <laughs> while saying fucked up shit. It's literally blasphemy. Right. right. She's like, I knew that boy was gay. That's why I moved to Portland. That's why I moved to Portland. Yeah. Clearly I'm gay because I don't eat pussy enough. <laughs> That's why I don't have a beard as well, Lucas. I'm sorry. Nigga beat me to the beard punch too. God damn. Anybody got pussy for me to eat? It comes with a relationship. I'm a pretty good dude in a relationship too. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't cheat. I just found that out though. I, I didn't. I didn't know that I wasn't a cheater until this last relationship. All right. I won't cheat on you, but I will check out every woman that walks by. And just, it won't be blatant though, it'll be from like a side eye. You know, you won't even know I looked at her until you point her out. And then I'm like, baby, I already saw her ass. It was, it was fat, I know. I saw it 10 minutes ago. You're, you're late. Yeah, that's... So if you date me, you'll be able to check out women as good as a, a serial killer. <laughs> they didn't hear that, they didn't hear that. Only, only you heard that. That was an inside joke. That was an inside joke, yeah. Oh man, God, thank you, Lucas, for giving me five minutes of material just now. <laughs> I had a great day today. Shout out to the trans community, right? I interviewed a trans comedian today. Today. Such a great interview. Uh, Autumn, that's her name, Autumn. She's a real good uh, trans comedian. She, she came from New York. And I also bought a Dave Chappelle ticket today, so I, I don't know. I'm kind of the yin and yang type of nigga. 
I figured I did the Lord's work. You said what? I just bought one ticket. I don't want no one to know I was there. You know, it's like a secret <laughs> that I'm a Dave Chappelle fan when you're in Portland. You don't want nobody to know that, except I'm telling you guys that right now. So that's, it's kind of not that big of a secret anymore. <laughs> but I love the trans community more than I love Dave Chappelle, so. Yeah, because I have a brother who's trans. That's why it's in the bloodline. It's in the bloodline. Yeah, yeah. We didn't grow up together though. You know, he lived in Germany, honestly. I didn't find out about him. I didn't find out about him until he messaged me on Facebook, right? The first message he sent to me was, what's your father's phone number? <laughs> right? I didn't know this was my brother at the time either. It just, someone just random, is like play, Paige sends me this message. So you know what I did, right? I sent him my dad's phone number because I'm an idiot. <laughs> And I haven't done any security study or research. Two months later, my dad pulls me in for a talk, and he's like, hey, son, we have to talk. Uh, I was like, I wear condoms. I don't have kids, so. It was about his dick. <laughs> it wasn't about my dick. It was about his dick. Talking to the camera, dad. I can't wait till my dad can see me do this joke. My dad is going to sit front row, and I'm going to hit him with all this shit. It's going to be so fun. Right, right. So yeah, he said, hey, thank you, thank you, Mickey. He said, hey, because uh, at the time it was a daughter, right? So he said, hey, I have a daughter. Oh shit, how old is she at the time? Now I gotta clarify shit in Portland. I'm not trying to, I parked here. I wanna, I wanna leave here, you know what I mean? <laughs> he was like, yeah, she's your age. What? Damn. Should have wore a condom. No. <laughs> the moral of the story, people, put a condom on. All right, bye. <laughs>